So today we're joined by Dunnan Ward. Hi, Dunnan. Hi. Um, and Dunnan's going to tell us a little bit about his wheelchair tennis. So Dunnan, I actually remember the first time that we got you to come and watch wheelchair tennis. I think it was at the end of 2015 and you were only about 10 years old. Could you ever imagine how far you'd come in five years? Um, no, I guess sort of like I started it um, just for a bit of fun, like once a week. Then by the end of the year, I was sort of doing it, you know, two, three more times a week and played my first tournament and just sort of went from there, really. So, yeah. I remember that tournament as well, actually, <laughs> and your dad being so nervous. Um, so in that five years, you've obviously gone from hitting with your dad at your local tennis club and playing just once a week, like you say, to now you've been selected on the LTA's Wheelchair National Age Group Performance Program. Um, you're ranked number three in the entire world in the ITF boys rankings, and you've represented GB many times, um, including World Team Cup and Junior Masters. So after all that, are you able to give me one standout from all that time? Um, I think World Team Cup 2019 because um, I think it was one of the lowest ranked teams there. And uh, yeah, I, I didn't lose a singles match. Um, yeah, and we lost in the final, which is unfortunate. So uh, yeah, it's still one of the best moments. Yeah, so... Yeah, that's pretty amazing. And I guess, was it one of the first times you've kind of travelled and stayed with a team and quite independent? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Quite cool. Um, and so just getting back to when you were starting out, how did the Dan Maskell Tennis Trust help you out? It must have been a pretty big shock to your parents to suddenly be funding this tennis player who was going to loads of tournaments and going overseas. Yeah, um, yeah, I think it definitely helped out a lot, um, especially with uh, training and things like that. And uh, yeah, so definitely helped out. Yeah, excellent. And also the Trust has funded a few team events that you've gone to. So um, they funded a team tennis finals in Gloucester a few years ago. And then they also did one uh, last year when the school games didn't run. And both of those events have been very social. So I just kind of wanted to ask you about the social side of tennis for you. Um, are the other players around your age, are you friends with them? Do you keep in contact? Um, yeah, I'm friends with most people, um, really, um, that are around the tournaments. Yeah, I'm quite good friends with Ben. Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. we get on quite well, so... Yeah. Excellent. And do you think that's something um, like one of the things that you really enjoy about tennis, the friendships that you've formed? Um, yeah. And also with that comes like rivalry as well. So it's yeah. sort of pushing you on to train harder. So, yeah. Yeah, that's a great point, actually. Cool. Um, well, Denon, obviously the Trust has funded quite a lot of our current professional players like Alfie Hewitt, Lucy Shuka, Louise. Andy Lapthorn. So we're pretty excited to have added your name to that list. Actually, while we've been talking to you, we've been watching you playing against Niels Vink, who's the world number one in juniors. And we can see your talent on display there. So it's been great to watch while talking to you. Um, so thank you. It was just a brief chat today, but I think it's really important for people to understand how the trust has helped out so many people and how we can help lots of other people. So we're just trying to spread that word. So thank you very much and good luck with your future. Thank you.